guys. Um, there was, there's not really, and here's one of the drawbacks using IXL is IXL generates random questions, right? It doesn't specifically make questions for you guys. So it's, just, it's nice as a review tool, but sometimes with some of the more advanced questions, they're a little bit too complicated to create like a random number generating sequence for IXL. So uh, we're kind of back to square one. We're going to do a few of these. Uh, I upload them online. We're, I'm going to go over two questions. It's the first one and the third one on that sheet. Uh, and then you guys, I want to go back and, uh, and do this one, or at least do the first part of it, okay? Because it's very similar to this one right here, okay? So it says, a large water basin is in the shape of a right cylinder. Do yourself a favor. Do yourself a huge favor. Draw yourself a large water basin in the shape of a right cylinder. Um, okay, that is, okay, uh, eight has a diameter of eight and a quarter feet and a height of three feet. Okay, determine the state to the nearest cubic foot, the number of cubic feet of water that it will take to fill the basin to a level one half a foot from the top. So they don't want to fill it up all the way. They want to fill it one half a foot from the top. Okay, so first of all, what's one half a foot from the top? So if the top is three feet, half a foot down is six inches, right? So they really only want to fill it up until, uh, you could say 2.5 feet, right? That'd probably be the best way to go about it, okay? Um, and again, uh, uh, number to nearest cubic foot the number of cubic feet of water okay uh, and we're going to take a step further because i believe we have the conversion to put in gallons as we do okay um so to find the volume of a cylinder okay it is the equal to pi times the radius squared times the height okay so the volume is going to equal pi well what's half of eight and a quarter, okay? Uh, you got a couple different ways you can do this. Um, uh, you can literally put in your calculator, it's probably your easiest way, say 8.25 divided by two. Um, another way to do this is to kind of split the eight and a quarter. Well, half of eight is four, and the half of a fourth is an eight. Um, might not still help because you guys might not know the decimal for one eighth, um, but what you will find out is that it's 4.125, okay? So when in doubt, you go ahead, you could convert this into a decimal. So it's 4.125 feet. Um, this is one of the trickier parts about using our very silly backwards American system of measurements, okay, is that quarters and halves, okay? 4.125 feet, we would normally say, what? We can't even say if it's 4. It's four feet, one and a half inches, okay? Uh, but if you put it as a decimal, this becomes a much easier problem, okay? So that's going to be pi times 4.125 squared times your height, which is now going to be 2.5, right? Don't forget to fill that one foot from the top, okay? So what are we going to do? You can put it all into your calculator just like that if you'd like. Pi times 4. 0.125 squared times 2.5, and you should get 133.64. So your volume is equal to 133.64 uh, cubic feet. Uh, they said round uh, to the nearest cubic foot, so that volume would equal 134 feet cubed. Uh, I'm going to take it a step further and say, hey, what's that in gallons? Now, in the other problem, it tells you that one cubic foot is 7.48 gallons. So one cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons. Okay. Again, very silly conversion, but that's what we got, right, guys? So 134 feet cubed again i want to get rid of feet cubed right so we'll say one foot cubed right what i want to get rid of on the bottom and what i want as an answer on the top 
Okay. So again, the feet cubed will cancel with the feet cubed. Okay. So what is 134 times 7.48? 134 times 7.48 is going to give us 1,002.32. So 1,002.32 gallons. Okay. So they ask for cubic feet, but again, you're not buying water by the cubic foot, you're buying it by the gallon. So, okay, so you have to pay for it by the gallon. Okay, so uh, your other one should be very similar to that. Um, this other one, uh, a little bit trickier. So Ian needs to replace two concrete sections in the sidewalk as modeled below. Each section is 36 inches by 36 inches and four inches deep. He can mix his own concrete for $3.25 per cubic foot. How much money will it cost Ian to replace the two concrete sections? First thing you need to notice is that's in inches, that's in inches, that's in inches. This is in cubic feet. Okay. Um, so you have two choices. Either you can make these feet at the beginning, or you can make them feet at the end. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'll, I'll show you both ways. So we'll say number one, make feet first. Okay. I guess make feet first. Okay. So let's think about this. 36 inches is three feet, right? 36 inches is three feet. No problem right there, right? Four inches. Well, four inches. Well, what's four out of 12, right? Four inches out of 12 is going to give you one third of a foot, right? So what can we say? We can say the volume is going to be two times, So, because first of all, we need two of these, yes? Two of these, right? I will say length times width times height, okay? Uh, and this actually works out pretty well because the one third cancels out. So um, if we wanted to find this, the volume is well three times three is nine nine times one third is going to be three so that's two times three cubic feet right so in other words three cubic feet for each one of these so your volume is equal to six cubic feet okay and now how much did it cost okay so i'm going to pause it right there for a second um your other method is uh, use inches first. Okay, in other words, we're going to use first, use inches first, and then we'll convert that over to cubic feet. So there's something you got to be a little bit careful about here. Okay, so your volume, first of all, becomes much more difficult to do because it's going to equal two times 36 inches times 36 inches times four inches. So no big deal there, right? Like you have a calculator, but just, you know, the numbers went from things you can do inside your head to things you have to break out a calculator for. So 36 times 36 times four times two is going to be uh, 10,368, 10,368 inches cute. Okay. Um, so right off the bat, um, I would have used the first one and hopefully you'll see why because now I have to convert these inches cubed into feet. Now, you got to be careful. How many inches cubed make a foot cubed? Okay. Well, don't forget a foot cubed is actually 12 inches by 12 inches by 12 inches. So 12 times 12 times 12, 12 times 12 times 12 is going to be 1,728. So 1,728 inches is equal to one cubic foot. If you haven't figured it out by now, you <laughs> make the feed first, okay? It just makes your job so much easier. But that being said, if I say it was 10,368 divided by 1,720, I should get six, okay? So no matter what, um, you will get six cubic feet. But again, 
by the little work here, especially with numbers like this to change them into fractions, uh, make your life a whole lot easier, okay? So now that we've got our answer, which is six cubic feet, okay? We have six cubic feet, okay? And what are we multiplying by? Well, um, we need that in dollars. Well, it's $3.25. I know it's weird putting the dollar sign back there. $3.25 um, for each one cubic foot. So if you want to put the dollar sign, put the dollar sign, I guess. Okay. So again, the big thing for us, again, is the units on the top and on the bottom cancel. And 6 times 3.25 is going to be $19.50, right? Good. So he can repay his stuff for $19.50. Um, his back is going to hurt by the end of the day, but uh, no big deal there, okay? Um, so anyway, I hope that kind of that's about as difficult as they're going to get for you guys. We'll look at some other examples over the next couple of days. Okay, thanks.